Thank you for having me join you today to talk about how critical mineral supply chains can be developed in Canada through collaboration with Indo-Pacific nations. The security of critical minerals and material supply has become a significant concern for many governments in light of the rapidly growing demand in new technologies, in addition to heightened geopolitical concerns on security of supply of critical minerals given China's control of many of these supply chains. This is underlining the imperative for Canada to establish a comprehensive critical mineral supply chain strategy to take advantage of the fact that Canada is blessed with abundant undeveloped resources of all of these critical minerals, but lacks the downstream manufacturing capacity to create the internal demand needed to get them started. Many of these minerals and the manufacturing capacity are critical for creating the materials now vital for renewable energy, technology, electric vehicles, electronics, and aerospace technologies. A critical mineral supply chain strategy involving important allies like Japan that already have much of the downstream value added manufacturing capacity can inspire Canada to encourage more production of these critical minerals to get started. In a number of Indo-Pacific nations, notably Japan, there are many examples of companies that have been very successful in innovating new products that take advantage of the unique properties of many of the elements contained in critical minerals, despite not having a domestic supply source. In the past, Japanese manufacturers could rely on China for supply of many of these commodities, such as the rare earths, but with domestic demand growing rapidly now in China, security of supply is at risk, hence the need for developing new international supply chains from countries like Canada that do have the resources in the ground. One way the Canadian government can accelerate the development of critical minerals resources in Canada now is by creating a strategic materials stockpile. It can simply be established by providing initial offtake commitments, the government doing that, to aspiring new critical minerals producers in Canada that will help them access the capital they need to initiate production. This will then accelerate new production capacity getting started in Canada that manufacturers in Japan and other Indo-Pacific nations that can take advantage of to support expanding production of their various manufactured products. This could include establishing new manufacturing facilities in Canada to process these critical minerals to create the intermediate products needed by various end users to make the specific final products needed in new technologies. So we've got them all on the ground. It's time to take advantage of it and create these supply chains to serve the many countries in the Indo-Pacific region that need them now. Thank you for your attention.